the benefits of the flight simulator is that the uh, the pilot can uh, have simulation of different weather scenarios. Uh, you can have uh, SAF, uh, semi-automated forces involved. Um, you can simulate interaction with uh, ground forces, for example. You can also simulate various emergency procedures, things such as engine failure, uh, other mechanicals or electrical system uh, issues. It gives the pilot a chance to uh, keep these skills current. Additionally, uh, one of the advantages of flying in the sim is that typically for every hour of flight in the actual helicopter, you're looking at roughly about three hours of maintenance. So right away you can see there's some cost savings, there's some manpower savings using the simulator versus actually flying the aircraft. In addition, depending on where you are in the world, you may not actually be able to simulate all possible conditions at any given time. But in the simulator, all things are possible. Any type of... Uh, weather condition, any type of terrain, all that can be simulated. Uh, re sometimes the pilots, depending on their level of uh, certification, whether they're instructor pilots or standardization pilots, uh, they're going to have to have very number of hours per year required by Army regulation in the simulator. Uh, this is going to be determined based on that certification and they have to complete it by their anniversary date. Um, some of the things that we can uh, help pilots improve upon uh, you have a lot of aviators who are not full-time aviators. They have a primary job function, and in some respects you can say they're sort of a part-time pilot, they're standby pilots, they're, um, they have flight status, but maybe they're not currently in a flight slot where they're assigned, so this allows them to keep those skills current and also maintain their flight status. Uh, we've had uh, pilots coming from as far as uh, Egypt, in North Africa, uh, obviously in those climates, they've got they don't have the winter um, conditions, things of that sort. So they come to us and they get some of that training. They stay up to date on that, as well as uh, also meeting their annual anniversary requirements. And in some cases, um, pilots from time to time need an additional check ride for either an added level of certification or even just to maintain their current certification.